I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel's sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. That to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? What do I do?
check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? Okay. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba kun. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. 
It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but... Fuyusaka-san's asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Hey, by the way. I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yup. Gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Shall we go home, Asami-chan? Ah, uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's... Nanji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but... Yori-chan met someone special, too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair! Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... Saka-san, rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? 
sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. I should get going too. <sighs> Fine. Guess single girls walk home alone. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll buy you a crepe next time. the view from the old classroom but the new one's not bad either i can see the whole schoolyard what i know i shouldn't tease you like Everyone's that training hard but it's your teams. fault for keeping secrets from me they're really supporting uh. one another maybe i should join a club too but seriously it's amiguchi for me to go home. we gotta catch that guy in quick you want to hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right! He was there during break, too. Oh. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but... He's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. H hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. Let's head to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Let's head to the... Grab your stuff and... The papers are on... The papers... I know. On the podium, right? Is this it? Y yes That's right. Please take care of it. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can.
Oh, right, my bag. It'd be a hassle to come back here just for that. Shiba Kun's right every once in a while. I should bring it with me. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro... Izumi? It's my photo, but... The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabekun. I think you forgot these. Oh, my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Kurabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? condition you know any heart palpitations dizziness headaches are you getting enough sleep at night why do you ask there's a nasty cold going around at this time of year that's a bit odd isn't it i'll give you some medicine just in case no thank you i'm fine really i see if you'll excuse me What's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on! <sighs> Something wrong? Uh, you couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. on the arcade. It's too shady these days. 
Why not get a game hey, console? Then you can are we going home? home? Wrong way, man. My little brother totally tried that argument uh. on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Miyuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Right? I even see her in TV commercials. Come on, Juro. Let's Everyone go home. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Sentinel isn't responding. The Arakuna? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Miura-kun. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <gasps> what the? <sighs> My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? activation protocol well this will be interesting are you you leave me no choice I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now Shibakun So yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. She dropped this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into.
class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Usami-chan sits, she has red glasses. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Hmm. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me, and then I woke up. Uh... Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't! This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. This school is so old, you don't... 
Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. next door not chun don't worry about it they had to see your smiling faces you know this girl yes she's a good friend the three of us have known each other since grade school natsuna chan this is usami chan last name kisaragi and i'm not to know minami nice to meet you minami san there you are Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Anywhere. Where could it be? <sighs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? something here Amiguchi-kun this isn't like you just listen okay this is a first for me too you feel it right <sighs> I want to pursue this with you please I don't know it's just huh Fuyusaka-san <laughs> what is she doing here As long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. 
Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san. signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Daimos signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing for the assault. Initiating tactical analysis.
activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are, now. I believe that's sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama? You were with Okino-kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. Sure. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko-san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, <sighs> You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. Kiriko-san? 
She vanished? That's impossible. can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then... He might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came... What does it mean if... You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. But don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. <sighs> Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching his son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. 
Whoa, hold it. What? Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. I said hold it! Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. I said hold it! Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hey! Don't you walk away! Come on! <clears throat> My yakisoba pan! I didn't even get a single bite! You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Silva Pan. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama, at your service. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> oh. Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there.
Looks like it's locked. Guess you found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year, thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pan. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pan for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never! Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. <laughs> Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project. His daughter, Kir- What does it mean? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? for the Sentinel. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. 
I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me? I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then... You can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pond's on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. Soba pond. Not much I could do. Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. <clears throat> I'd hit the spot. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Underestimated, 
You're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes. That's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in!
terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing! Let's fire off some more of those! Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. Activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the Sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? Renya Gotau. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through.
Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic! I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. Here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Here she goes about... No, not at all. A special series all about the latest... I'm so... You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh, man. You're right. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked. Everyone's already there. Gonna pop I in my headphones, my turn off all the lights. Yuki-chan! Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows. But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? all about the, I'm so okay okay it's a recording of a TV show on UFOs
friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, Kenhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Yuki-chan? <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way. Can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Ever not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year! What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay... Everybody go. Am I the only one still here? Mm -hmm. Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard, too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. They really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. 
secret agents who and silent they call secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs they call the men in black no one really knows much else <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup don't want senpai to get mad okay let's do this done. Oh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Oh, I am pretty sweaty. Things in there. Uh, wait. What if? What's going on? What? There a pervert in here? <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. Um... Hey there! Stranded on Earth establishes a bond with it's a real na an alien. Are you an alien from space? Oh my god, I'm the chosen one. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay, I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. <gasps> it worked. Okay, stay calm. Secret agents and silent they called. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus? It's just like that one movie! They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means... I must protect him. Welcome to Earth! I can't believe this is really happening! 
My dream is finally coming true. BJ, is that your name? My name is Natsuno. Inner Lassiter code matched. Huh? Natsuno. Yeah, that's me. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? That's enough. Need memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait! You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. I can get him. My PE bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Maybe he could fit in here, too. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh-uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? Doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it, Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place, too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this? was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ.
Except in the freaking movies. Wow. This is awesome, DJ. Oh man, you're really gonna. pretty crazy even by dream standards one second we're at the shrine then we're surrounded by this weird light and now we're in this place what the heck happened to this city it looks like there was a war ah, there's more the government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? What? What are those? one extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Ah!
Raccoon. Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our Sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that... Electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning! Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming! What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Mirakun! They're coming at us in one straight line! <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. I won't back down. Leave it to me. Take that! Threat suppressed. That was awesome! You got them all in one shot! That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, roger that!
are they? Now! Take that! Threat suppressed. We got through it. For a first-time pilot, those were some impressive moves out there. Couldn't have done it without you, Mira-kun. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker, colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro kun You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan! We're here to help! No way! You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Juro kun I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together! Throwing away my shot.
What now? What the heck? I won't back down. Here we go. What can I do with an enemy threat range? This is usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. Come on. I'm already covered in mud. No point going back now. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again? Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online, like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> you really are great at singing, Tomi. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm -hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. You looking for frogs or what? I'm gonna keep going. Hmm? What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. Could it 
can't be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I, I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? A light. And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. Nowhere. What the? You saw it too, right? Where did he come from? Uh, um, are you all right? <sighs> Where am I? No. When am I? When? Well, today is October... No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's... 2024. 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. It's over. It's all over. Um, should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline, they're coming. <sighs> A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Oh. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. I needed to see you. Just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? 
I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. Right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him.
fluff. You're that kitty from before. I'm a cat, not a kitty. B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just... Talk to me? I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit a nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Daimos Cone. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse, and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal, Jarby, you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. A contract with a cat. Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Well, I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it? I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Like that thing has a wall protecting it. 
how am I supposed to damage it? Judging by the big crane, that one's probably a high quad. Tommy, why are you... What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi, I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing! But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tony. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah, you're right. Sentinel number 23, return. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my Sentinel. You charged out first all thumping your chest and it took you this long to get here? The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Tomi's Sentinel won't be much good against it. But your first-generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat.
Now secure. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. Further into the future than me. 
Megumi, when we're done with all this fighting, we should go get some crepes. I know a great little place near school. Yeah, wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D forces have changed course. Let's go. Cool. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? Done talking. We're gonna settle this. Dumbass. Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Nigakuri Industrial School. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the ladies' side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? No way! I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. Still running that mouth. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. <laughs> Did you seriously just... Newsflash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Amiguchi! Time to go. Follow me. Hey, you gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Because I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Ugh, does this guy hear himself? What? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. You're kidding! Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. You want to go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really? It's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district? What, you got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation. I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Well, thanks for the ride, I guess. Your driving sucks, man. 
Hey, uh, you got a boyfriend? Oh, it, hell no. Oh, cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? Guess that's it for the Type 98 bipeds. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would have been great. Hopefully Kizaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate. Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? Looks okay. Basically everything's operational aside from the legs. Definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A giant mecha, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez, like a kid who's been watching too much anime. <sighs> but man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Huh. Did I leave the 
TV on? Kind of late for a music show. Feel like I recognize those lyrics too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. itself back on is it broken finally I finally found you now it's a drama late night TV gets weird I've been looking for you for so long Please help me.
late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Shu Amiguchi. <gasps> You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please, save me. Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta fight Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan, fast! There! I finally got through! Yuki-chan, it's me! Nachan! I'm glad you're safe! Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous! Just hold on! I'm on my way! What? No! No, you stay back where it's safe! We got buttloads of kaiju over here! Damn it! Goto, we gotta do something, now! Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dymos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kind of short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the metachips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them? Good boy. We all better watch out for her.
wait.
repairs. What's optimal? Locked on. That easy. That's my win. Hope I can pull my weight. Are we winning? Number 20, moving out. Still not used to this, but no fight I can't win. Number 21, on the move. Now then. No way out. Where'd he go? Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me. Uh, guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because... you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now, or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. <laughs> Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories... They're gone. Hey, Sekigahara. It's no use, I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Good. He's still alive. 
I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Miss, are you okay? She isn't breathing. I wonder what happened here. It's no use. I still can't remember anything. Is it possible that I did this? Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me, all right? I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. Something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says 4436853214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? She has nothing else on her. There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. And... A key. But to what? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? This appears to be someone else's student ID. 
Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me, in one way or another. It's a student ID. It appears to belong Iori Fuyus. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not... Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of... Sh Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. back what'll happen to me hey as long as it's set to stun it won't kill anybody but it's strange why do i know how to use this a fancy leather wallet there are a few bills and coins inside no credit cards though an outdated transceiver for communication purposes it has a very limited range a. Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar, but it apparently belongs to me. Shihiro Morimura, 31, a key member of Shikishim, the one I found dead. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if Cap did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Just go get your package. See ya. That 
girl said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> but don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. supposed to believe all that still it does line up with what those men in black were saying first things first I need to get out of here if what that girl said is true then I'm not safe here our plan.
their sights on me. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur.
get it? My turn now. Take this. That work? Next. Termination of enemy signals confirmed.
units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies. But we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against.
Giamma-kun. Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the Sentinel. What, a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it.
metasystems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah, maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah, let's get going. Gotta think. 
practice rounds over.
something. Come on guys, we got some ass to kick. 